So I'm currently printing this Benji at uh, 65 millimeters per second uh, with the outer shells printing at about 35 millimeters per second and I have actually had to adjust the flow rate um, to get it to print um, nicer as you can see um, on the um, on the lower layers it was over extruding pretty badly um, I then went into the I had to basically go into these settings into tune and reduce the flow to um, 86 and that flow rate got me a much nicer print um, the speed of the feeder so it should it should be moving about that much when it's printing and that's at the default um, 240 steps per millimetre so yeah my E steps are 240 and I'm getting a pretty much flawless print uh, key things to watch out for on the extruder though um, what you basically want to have is the small gear tight on the motor shaft make sure that the motor is not spinning freely with the small gear loose um, I've also actually updated the gear designs so the V2 version if you're watching this video is now up on the github page um, but in the meantime um, what I suggest doing to get the gears to uh, mesh better and remove that backlash is to add two uh, M5 spacers in there and what that's going to do is push the large gear out and then you need to push the small gear right up against the motor and then it should lock like so with the um, with a slight gap there. Uh, next, what you want to do is take take another M5 nut and place it on the bottom of this um, M5 by 40 millimeter bolt. Uh, that should actually raise the arm and get the bearing closer to the uh, to the extruder gear, and that should resolve any. Uh, problems you've been having with uh, with tension. I've I've updated this on the um, on the instruction manual as well, and yeah, highlighted that it's a new revision. And also another point to um, take note of on the feeder assembly is that I highly recommend filing a flat onto the um, five millimeter hex bolt and then clamping this um, set screw on the feeder gear down onto that flat side uh, hopefully you can see the flat that I filed onto the bolt and once you've lined it up with the hole in the base of the feeder I recommend uh, adding a dab of um, super glue to um, the set screw there and that should just uh, ensure that it stays in place uh, when you are printing